Alan, what, is, what does Anzac Day mean to you? I was first introduced to Anzac Day in 1958. My dad was Army and Navy in the Second World War. Um, he, uh, he did three years in the Army and then changed to Navy as a gunnery rating. Um, 58, I was seven, um, and I got to march with Dad uh, along the front of St Kilda Road uh, up to the Cenotaph. Um, and uh, I made it nearly all the way, he had to carry me the last bit, and I sat on his shoulders for the, for the service. And he impressed on me the fact that Anzac Day was a, an opportunity to thank the people who sacrificed for us, but also to catch up with mates and talk about people who weren't here anymore and, and, and give them the value that they deserved. I'm proud now I, I take Dad with me on Anzac Day. I told him I was going to do it and he laughed about it um, not long before he passed. So it's, uh, it's always been a special day for me. What about you as a, a young one coming in? Anzac Day for me, I, I don't have much military family. I'm the first in my family to join, um, so we don't have a big history. Uh, we did make a pretty cycle effort though, most dawn services uh, to get out there most striking, member, striking memory of me as a kid. We'd only have small dawn services back home in Adelaide, but we went to MCG, 100,000 people, dead silent for the service. It was striking. Um, I remember that as a kid vividly. I mean, I've only been in for a few years. Um, but there's a bond that you build, those who are currently serving and those who have ex-served as well. And on that day, you're all one. We've been commemorating Anzac Day since um, the 1915-16 period when we first started to look at um, the sacrifice that people made. Is it important for you to look back as well as to look forward? It's very important for me to commemorate those, the sacrifice that those first soldiers made back in World War I. Um, I feel like we need to keep talking about this. We don't want to lose the stories of these people um, in the front of people's minds of the most modern wars and rec recent sacrifices we made. We need to keep sharing these stories and that's up to my generation now. We need to hear them from your generation who heard them from your father's generation and we need to keep moving on these, keeping, passing on these stories to continue the Anzac legacy, to remember the sacrifices that servicemen and women have made over the years.